All right, guys, so today we're going to be uh, replacing that seal right there on the uh, back of the transfer case. If I zoom out, you can see that that's the uh, drive shaft. And the slip yoke slips right into the back of the transfer case. Before you start the job, make sure and uh, put the parking brake and put something on the wheels so that it doesn't roll. When you remove the drive shaft, it will essentially make the truck free rolling like it's in neutral. So you don't wanna run over yourself. Okay, I've started by, went ahead and marked the U-joint that attaches to the drive shaft to the yoke. And uh, we're gonna take these little bolts off. That takes this strap off. There's one on either side and that'll help take the drive shaft out. Now here, you would pry it towards me, towards the front, but I think it should come off pretty easy. Or not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just wimpy. All right, all right. So let me show you on the other end. Basically, once you pull it forward, then you can pull it back. Now, I'm gonna stop for a second to film it, show you the other end, because you don't want to damage the other end. All right, so this is the drive shaft. I've pulled it forward. Now I'm take it off and I'm gonna pull it back towards the truck. That's gonna slip that out. You wanna be gentle with that. You don't wanna scratch it, dent it, beat it up. You see how it's sliding out? And that's where it comes out. This is what you wanna keep clean. All right, so that's where it would look like without the drive shaft on this end. You can see that's where the straps were and the draft tire was sitting there. And I've got it on some blocks. Uh, you want to keep this, take care of this, make sure there's no scuffing or dents or anything, no debris. You don't want to get any dirt on that. That's going to go back inside. So you want to take care of that. So when you pull it out, you want to make sure you come to this end. That way you can, it's better to beat up that end than this end. All right, on to the next step, taking the seal out. All right, so this next step, taking the seal out, will be, of course, pretty gentle with it. We're gonna take a flat head screwdriver and just gently tap. Now, you don't have to tap all around. Take the lower half and just gently tap here and you should see it start to come out. right out and that's it guys we're gonna put the new seal on we'll make sure the weep hole is to the bottom that's what we're gonna do and you want to make sure that you put it in as straight as possible so let's just kind of place it in the neighborhood we pull this down come on you won't lose much fluid from the transfer case but you may want to recheck it but we're talking a couple tablespoons all right now that it's in, we pull this down. It actually slides in pretty good. We're gonna take our can, and again, you wanna make sure the top, bottom, all around is going evenly, or as even as you can possibly get it. We're gonna tap that sucker back in. <clears throat> Just gently now. Gonna tap it evenly. to finish pushing it in with a little flat section of a chisel. So I'm gonna take the flat side, all I got is this little chis chisel, tap it in the rest of the way. Make sure it's seated. We'll clean it off with the rag. Check that area again. You want to keep dirt off from the inside there. It feels pretty snug. And we're going to slip the uh, drive shaft back in. There we 
go. Hopefully that does the trick. We'll hook it up on the other side. Like I said, not much leaked out, but you may want to still check your fluids. We'll go to the other side and put it back together. All right, so now we come to this end. We're still lined up with the marks. Same side to side. And we slip it back in. Gonna put our straps back on. And uh, we'll drive it around, see if we have any leaks. Let's see if we don't have to. And I start by hand tightening them. Like I said, I'm just a shade tree mechanic and uh, we're just going with what I know. We'll snug them back up and the job is done. That's all there is to it. Anyway, guys, hope that was helpful and uh, not confusing. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic, but uh, good for DI wires and uh, you got to maintain your truck, save some money. Catch you in the next one.